Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Well, Scott and I, this afternoon, we're on a bit of a um, meat run to help the property owner get rid of some deer as well. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago now, I shot two deer down in this um, same gully just over here. And um, yeah, they were good, two good does. I'll chuck the picture of that up here now. Um, I didn't get a lot of footage of that anyway. I did a YouTube video, uh, sorry, an um, a Insta story for it. I'll put the Insta story up now, you can have a look at that. Warren's just over here. Probably can't see him because of the sun. Entering into this gully. It's fallow deer in there down the bottom here. And I've already come across this massive tree rub, which is good. So, yeah. Hopefully, we can see something down here and have a crack. Place is riddled with game trails of deer somewhere. Cross, we've seen him in this gully before. He's Warren making his way up the gully. He's got his shooting stick with him. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to review on that too if we can. Oh. Warren just set up down there and I come up over the hill and I saw a few, three of them in the bushes just over here. So I shot one in the head, it's just over here, it's a bit of a head shot, and this one over here was a, um, yeah, it was a pretty good shot, so, <laughs> there you go. You noisy bastard. <laughs> well, you, we were just talking just here, and I said, I'll come up this way and have a look, and there was three better than these ferns, yeah. so I shot two. Good. So, well, that's pretty good, so we'll go and have a look at them, and get ready for the carry. Well, we can, no, we, no, forget that, we're leaving there, we drive back. We can gut them there. We'll yeah. drive, drive back up the top there. Because oh. we're not far from the uh, shed. Good deal. Excellent. Just coming up on it now. There was just three does. Just chilling in the, in the ferns over here. So. I'm not going to show you too much of the other side where it hit, but pretty good. And the other one's just over here. Oh, it's up there. See, here's the other one, just here. So I was over there and 50 meters I shot the first one and this was about 75, not even 100, so. I set him up, I bring him out here. <laughs> I said, I'll wait here and he's gonna go around the top. Yeah. Didn't freaking ask me, didn't say a damn thing. All of a sudden, boom, boom, two deer down. Bam, bam. You shouldn't have brought the bastard out. <laughs> That's how we roll though. That's how we roll. So we're just heading across the paddock now to uh, go and pick up uh, Huh. Some deer across here, right across the other side. You probably can't see them. They're right on the other bank over there. And Warren just said he saw a buck in this paddock here, which was Gandalf, which is the one we're after. So we've left our guns back over there where we're going to pick this deer up from. But just notice I've got this lump on my head here. I think I've uh, scoped myself a bit. When I took the second shot, I wasn't, I wasn't exactly ready as the first one because I wasn't going to take it. I thought, why not? We're here to um, help the farmer out. And yeah, a bit of a lump there. Bam rookie <laughs> well got the car not far from here well it's on top of this ridge we're going to clean these two up as best as we can bury the guts and yeah go home and um, hang them up for a few days i reckon keeping an eye down the bottom of the hill down here which is where we've seen them in the past as well so then hopefully in the next few days you get a chance to have a crack at one of them yeah. be good so Did you this way yeah you got your footage Two does for the freezer. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head down in this gully and, and sidle down around and come back because the wind is, head, is heading down this way. So we're real careful with the wind here because I think the temperature is dropping as well and the thermals are gonna pull our scent into the gully as well. So um, yeah, it's anyone's guess. So anyways, we head across and yeah, oh yeah, I don't, I don't have a gun today. Scott's the only with the with the rifle. I'm shooting with a camera, so fingers crossed we get something. Wind is swelling a bit. 
most of the gully we're heading down now because the wind is coming up, it's supposed to be coming down the other way, but anyway, we're walking. We'll get into the wind. There's nothing over this way that we can see just yet anyway. Still a bit early, tell me what. Oh, oh there you go, past three. So yep, it's still early day. Tragedy. We came around here to this hill over here, and I saw a deer down the bottom of this gully here. And I was looking at it with my binos, and I heard Scott go, meow, meow, meow. and right where I'm standing right now, there was eight to ten deer in this area just down here. There was a couple of bucks and a, and a few does, so they were already just locked onto us. So the wind in the bottom of this gully has been swirling like crazy. So I'd say they probably heard a few crunches, got our scent. They were just, they were just staring straight at us. Well, straight at you, probably at me, but I had no idea. I was looking at another deer down there. And I don't know where the other deer went. I think it took off. It was only a doe. So we're going to go back down here, stick up high because of the wind, and see if we can cut them off further up. I don't know. It's really the only plan that we've got. Yeah, I think so. The and then the wind is down. Yeah. Right up our backside. Yeah. And then maybe come back this way to see if any more deer are coming. Just like one little gust, and then as soon as that you could see it, you could see it happen. It was still the wind gusted straight down to them, and then they were fine until we started to back out, and then our scent hit them, and then they just took off again. So we're sticking with our plan of sticking up high, see if we can see if we can come come down here and then go along this edge, like up high, and see if we can see down. So we followed the deer. Our plan was to head up high along this tree line. We walked right across the other side, about 400 meters, 500 meters, coming back, knowing the wind and the direction they were going. And it worked out like a plan. Just over here near that fence, I got that footage that you just saw. We missed it by that much. Oh, I know. It was like three or four bucks. One had a broken handler, so. Anyway, we're gonna go back the way we came now. That's the direction that they're going in, but the wind is in our favour this time, so hopefully we catch up with them up the, the game trail, so.
that's not one. That's not it. It's over there. More. Yeah, we found it. <clears throat> I mean, it wasn't really hard to find it. <laughs> That's it. That's the one. Near the big trees. Good man. That's not Gandalf. That's alright, that's good. So we're trying to save that silver dad. Yeah, that's not Gandalf. I didn't really want to shoot a buck, to be honest. And there was only a couple of does there, but this one was the only one that was standing to present a shot. And we're here to get rid of the, the deer for the property owner, which are obviously causing havoc through here. So any sort of open shot that you can get, you've got to take it. So yeah, it is actually a nice buck. Well, look at it. It's actually a really nice buck. And just that hemorrhage. It's like just a low heart shot. Was it was a quarter away facing downhill? Yeah. Or was it facing up? No, so, it was facing it, so that's an entry. Yeah. yeah. Exit, I'm not sure actually yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at the exit in a minute. We'll pull it out of these uh, these these ferns here and we'll get a better look at it. Well, I'm gonna end this video here because it's dark and we've got to gut this deer now and um, yeah, carry it out to the car. So I'm just using my head torch so you can see me. So it's, it's, not, it's not really late or anything, but the camera won't pick it up. But yeah, we'll chuck some pictures up now and you can see what it um, looks a bit clearer. Some still images of what it is and yeah, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you in the next one. Hooroo!